Hi, I'm Maha Salah from Middle East Monitor, and today I'll be showing you how to make tamriya. We all have dishes we associate with specific people, and many of my traditional recipes are associated with a grandmother, aunt, or another relative. Funnily enough, today's recipe is not only associated with my grandmother, growing up I didn't know many people who knew it, but it was only recently that I realized that my grandmother had been taking a genius shortcut and was using spring roll wrappers instead of making the dough. I'm used to being the one coming up with shortcuts for things and trying to make recipes as quick and as easy as possible. But this is the one time I'm going to say that although the shortcut is great and I grew up loving it, I feel like making the dough yourself makes the dish much better and is super easy so it's definitely worth it. When people hear the name of the recipe, they think it's associated with dates because the Arabic word for date is tamr, but it actually has no dates in it. There are many stories about where the name comes from. Some say the man who created the dish came from the city of Tamra to Nablus, where tamriya is most popular, and it was therefore named after the city. Others say the name comes from the verb tamara, which means to cover something, describing how each piece is covered in oil when it's fried, as many Middle Eastern dishes are named after the way they're made. It is also said to have originated in Damascus and to have been brought over to the city of Nablus, which is called Little Damascus, where they made it their own by having it as a breakfast staple instead of as a dessert. It's especially popular on Friday mornings when the whole family is gathered together to enjoy it. While you can definitely take my grandma's shortcut and make this with spring roll wrappers, I find that making your own dough is really easy and gives you a dough with a bit more substance, while the spring rolls will give you a super crispy texture, so it's really up to preference. The dough couldn't be easier. Just mix all the ingredients together and leave it to rest for at least half an hour so that it's easy to roll out super thin. Make sure you add the water gradually so you don't end up with a watery dough. But if your dough is too sticky, don't worry. Just knead in a bit more flour until you get a soft dough. The filling is also very simple to make. Just make sure you mix the water, semolina, and sugar together until combined before you put it on the heat to avoid any lumps. It may seem too watery in the beginning, but don't worry, it will thicken as it comes to the boil. I don't like my filling to be too sweet, but give your filling a taste and add a little more sugar if you prefer it sweeter. I like to brush my plate with some oil before pouring in the filling so it's easy to remove, and cutting them into squares helps measure out an equal amount for each ball of dough. When it comes to frying these, you want to make sure your oil is hot enough, but that the heat isn't too high, otherwise your dough will brown but it'll still be raw on the inside. Place these on a cooling rack instead of paper towels to get rid of the excess oil, without them becoming soggy on the bottom. Dust with a generous amount of icing sugar and eat straight away, but I find the hardest part about this recipe is not eating them all as I'm frying them. 